All right, cancer, here we go. Cure for cancer here tonight. Okay. Uh, it's a general reading. It's the cure for cancer for those of you that are new. It's the most powerful soulmate connection in the universe. Did you probably already know that? It is the most powerful connection. It's the axis of the whole cycle right now uh, that's going on out there, which is why there's more cancer suffering than any other sign. I'll tell you that. And they got my sympathies because I'm feeling it. I'm... <laughs> I seem to have been made some sort of conduit for this connection, and I'm happy to do it because I'm happy to help these guys out because uh, the Cancers are good people. I'll tell you what, this is going to be an interesting reading, and I'm going to tell you why. First, I got to say for the new people, it's a general reading, may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you're here for a reason. If you're new here, check out the timeless, my, my timeless playlist, check out the Cure for Cancer playlist, check out the, your monthlies and your mid-monthlies, just stick around, there's a lot going on, you've missed a lot if you're new here. I'm Steve, by the way. Timeless, whenever you find it, is when you're meant to find it. Now, on to the fun stuff, enough about that. In my pre-shuffle, before I hit the record button, I got the High Priestess. And normally, I might say something like, or as, as a lot of readers would, I might say they're, they're using their intuition, they're in their thoughts, it's hidden energy, it's, you know, blah, blah, blah. No. Uh, the energy around this card, very, very clear. Crystal clear. Universe wants to make it crystal clear that the universe, this person's intuition is pushing them, is shoving them like a bully to get this thing going with you, to start something, to communicate, to do something. I got a funny feel in your person, as always, stubborn. Just fight, fighting it a little bit because they're in a tower clarifying this. No, I never go more than one deep, normally, on a, on a, on a pre-shuffle in particular or on an uh, overall energy card, but you know for the cure for cancers, we go five deep. Uh, but this is just a pre-shuffle. I just wanted to show you. I didn't know what was under there, but I felt, I felt like your person was being stubborn. Tower. The universe itself is pushing this on your person. It's shoving them in your, in, it's shoving you in their face. I mean, I'm serious. If you, if, if, if you play the piano, this person sees, your person sees pianos everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. Every, on TV. Everywhere. Doesn't matter. All right, let's shuffle the deck. Let's see where we go here. Cure, cure for cancer. What are the current energies here for this cancer connection? The cancer Leo axis, as I call it. And no, for you new people, don't shut off. Your person doesn't have to be a Leo. I know, I started a shit storm. Everybody's got, so, got people so damn conditioned out here on YouTube that signs mean anything. They're tarot, some kind of horoscope. What, oh my god. I did all that shuffling and the high priestess came back. Fuck. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Even the universe itself is shoving your person in our face. The high priestess came back after a round of shuffling. I shuffled about eight rounds there. <sighs> Let's cut the deck for cancer. Fuck. And underneath that, after the cut is the four of wands. Remember that high priestess? And remember what I said. And remember this Four of Wands, a happy new beginning. Because I think this shit's about to get real. Here we go. I can feel this energy already. Alright. That's my theme song. Alright, bottom of the deck. Death. Now I've renamed this card. I think I renamed it on a couple of different readings today. This is Death Reboot. I mean, yeah, they call it rebirth, but I like reboot better. It's the modern age. This person wants a reboot with you. The universe wants them to want a reboot, uh, reboot with you. Their intuition is screaming at them with that high priestess that we got twice. To reboot. To reach out. Yo, asshole, reach out. I mean, it's basically what the universe is saying to your person. Now... We're gonna pull. We, we pull the top five here, and we do a bottom row. This is your overall energy. Reboot. Remember that. Qu Queen of Cups underneath. For me, the most love one human being can feel for another. 
There's a lot of love in this connection, but it's all marred by a tower. And your person's stubborn, stubborn energy. Oh! What I say? It's all marred by a tower in your person's stubborn energy. It's the Ace of Wands reversed. Your person is being stubborn. There is no, your, the intuition is pounding on them to do this. The universe is screaming at them, hey, cancer's your choice. Cancer's your choice. There's a lot of love. They feel it. The universe itself with the death card, Major Arcana, is almost forcing a reboot here. And this Ace of Wands, reversed, is your person's stubborn. And even though, fourth card, you make them happy, the Ten of Cups, there's a happily ever after here. And the fifth card, this is as far as we go, is the Six of Cups. It's a very powerful soul connection. The Six of Cups bookending the death card is the shit. The universe itself is forcing a reboot here. There's a lot of, whenever I'm drawn to these roots, there's a lot of past lives here. There's a lot of karma. Karma is horsepower. Look at it that way. When someone says to you, there's a lot of karma in your connection. It could be good karma, it could be bad karma. It's mostly good that I can see. I'm not being drawn to the darker colored roots. But it's a lot of horsepower. Your person can't handle this horsepower. They're getting there. Oh, just a little string of stubborn, a stubbornness left. A little twig right here on that card of stubbornness. And just, I don't pull it. It's the sixth card. But underneath this six of cups was the nine of wands. Again, that wall of defensiveness. That's the stubbornness that's here. The only thing, if this were this way, I'd say go, go grab your phone based on the cards that are here. If this screams go grab your phone. This screams put your damn phone down for a bit. I don't think for long, but just chill. There's still one little twig. See, it's just a twig. It's, a little, it's not a tree. It's one little shit-ass twig of stubbornness that's getting in the way of happiness and a reboot of a deep soul connection forced by the universe itself filled with love and happiness fuck I'm gonna pull these down a little bit we're gonna pull some cards you ready All right. I'm not ready I asked you if you're ready I'm not ready I'm still pulling cards down okay come on now all right here we go this is what your person's... I always ask, I always pull on for these mostly what your person thinking and feeling about you right now. So that's, that's sort of what we're doing. Right. Two of Pentacles. Magician. King of Cups. That's stubborn. The Page of Pentacles. Okay. The bookends are the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. This person is indecisive still, but at the same time, it, it, hear me out. Actually, this is very funny. This is very similar to the All Signs reading I did today with that person, by the way. This is, your energy was all over that shit, but as it always is, because you're the most powerful connection. You're all over everything. I can pull anything. I, I can pull a reading for raccoons and you'd be in it. You'd be like, oh, yeah, that's my person. Yeah. And uh, it's funny. And, they, and, and they're not a raccoon. Anyway, this person is both indecisive and decisive at the same time. That's what I'm going to tell you, which is going to freak you out. Because next to this is the magician. They're manifesting this. Just like they were in that all signs reading, that, that person in the all signs reading. There's manifesting going on. They've made the decision to reach out. They have a full cup of love. But they have a hard time expressing emotions. And they may have a full cup of love. What the universe is forcing is the queen of cups, which gives the whole cup of love. The king of cups gives half, a quarter, you know, one foot on the land, one foot on the water kind of thing. One foot in the door, one foot, one foot out. The universe is forcing this much down their throat. And it's what's causing this ace of wands to reverse. And they're being stubborn. No, I don't want to eat the medicine. It's a bit like the universe is trying to hide the aspirin 
in the jello for the little baby. And here's the little baby right here, the little fawn, the page. Page of Pentacles, your other happiness, they know it, look, there's the rainbow from the Ten of Cups. All of the cards down here are represented up here, right here. Ten of Cups right there, there's, it's in the rainbow, happily ever after. They've made a decision and not made a decision at the same time. So it's like, it's like I say, it's like they're making excuses. It's like I say, all right, I'm going to give uh, cancer a call. Oh, but I have to wait because I have to think of what I'm going to say. Yeah. And then while, instead of sitting and thinking what I'm going to say, I go cook some ravioli because I'm hungry. And then, at, well, after I do that, I've got to take out the trash. I can't throw out because I cut up peppers for that. I can't put that in the trash. I'll get fruit flies. It's summer. So I got to take the trash out or, or take it out to the bin. And when I come back from that, I'll think about what I'm going to say to cancer. But I definitely want to reach out to cancer. And while all that's going on, time goes tick, 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 by. So that's what these cards say, basically. All right? That's where we're at. And it's just, and I'm just going to tell you, I know it sounds... Uh, that kind of thing. It is a little, but it's just a twig, a stubborn. It, it's honest to God, honest to God, is is way less than it was a month ago, etc. Way less. This person's getting better. They know the universe is really shoving you in their face. I mean, really. It. it, it <laughs> I mean, it's unreal. Uh, let's let's uh, pull a row of clarifiers here. All right, let's see where we go. All right, why is this two of cups? Uh, two of cups. I wish. Why is this two of uh, pentacles here? Three of swords. Yeah, they're afraid of getting hurt. I don't know why. <laughs> They've hurt you. You're, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's that's rich. They're afraid of getting hurt. They're afraid of getting hurt. Uh, they're and they're and, and it's not necessarily like. They, they think you're going to hurt them. It's a case of they're afraid that they're going to come in. That's why they're planning every word. The, the Page of Pentacles plans every word they're going to say. They're afraid that they're going to come in and you're going to throw it back in their face. And that's going to hurt them. Again, this person is definitely recovering from a past pain. Uh, but I think they could be putting in more of an effort to recover from said past pain. I do feel that in the energy. And we've seen that in extended readings and things like that. You know, when I go all Dr. Phil on them. Right here, uh, the magician, why is it here? Mm -hmm. They're manifesting you. They're manifesting you without realizing it. This is my spank bank upright card in this particular instance. They're manifesting you without realizing it. By taking your picture into the banyo, right? How's that? Uh, come on, I'm, I, I can speak other languages, kind of. Anyway, by, uh, for those of you that don't speak Spanish like me, <laughs> By taking your picture into the bathroom and going all spank bank upright on it, they're manifesting you. They're manifesting without knowing they're manifesting. Just by thinking about you all day by the universe, the universe is forcing manifestation by putting you in their face all day, regardless of what they're doing with you or with your picture. The good news is the King of Wands takes action. They do want to take action. Want. W-A-N-T. Want. They want to take action. Tired of that. Tired of this word want. The want and can't. Want and can't. Yeah, you can. Shut the hell up. King of Cups. They got a full cup of love. The universe is shoving it right up their ass too. Forcing them to feel it. But they're in King of Cups energy. King of Cups does not like to talk about their feelings unless they're drunk. This is a person who needs some whiskey to tell you how they really feel. That's not necessarily a good thing, but it's a good analogy. Two of Wands. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a card of setting the intention. This person is well aware. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, wow. This person is well aware that they can have a whole new world with you. Their whole world would be different. It would be fabulous. Happiness. 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 But they're afraid that you're going to th throw it back in their face because they've been whatever and blah, 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 blah. They're both decisive and indecisive. There's two of wands. Yes, they've 
sort of let go of the past, sort of, and are sort of getting the confidence to set the intention to come forward towards you. Sort of. Mm. Mm. I might throw a crossing card on that. That's a weird energy. Uh, what's the, um, I don't usually get that. The, the two of wands is usually pretty cut and dry, but that's, uh, what's the um, page of pentacles here for? Yeah, ten of wands. It's a real burden. Not, not reaching out to you is a real burden. Ten of wands. <clears throat> it's heavy on their mind. Of course it is. The universe itself is shoving you, shoving you down their throat with the Queen of Cups love. They're feeling this. They're feeling this. I'm surprised there's no Nine of Swords or Eight of Swords here. This, there is a Three of Swords, but this is sort of a fear. The only thing stopping them is themselves, and it's just a twig to turn that around. Let me pull a couple of cards on, on this. Uh, okay, I'll pull one more from the animal deck. Why is the uh, Two of Wands here? <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I've done so many readings today. Uh, why is the uh, two of wands here? Let's see. Uh, judgment. The reason the energy around this two of wands, normally if this two of wands fell, right, I'd say they've let go of one thing, they're focused on you, they're setting the intention to come towards you, and they know that it's a brand new world with you. Okay. Now, whoop, rewind. In this reading, I said it's a weird energy here. I needed a crossing card. Yeah, it is. It's just like they don't know what's good for them. And it, it's like I told you, they're accidentally manifesting you, like when they take your picture and do stuff with it. They're accidentally manifesting this thing. They're manifesting all this love. They're deepening the love, etc., etc., etc. But this is like my father picking me up and chucking me in the water off the dock when I was a kid, teaching me how to swim. That was his idea, teaching me how to swim, to pick me up and throw me in the goddamn water. That's what the universe is doing. Again, it's all, though the energy around this, it, it is everything the Two of Wands usually is, but it's the universe picking them up and saying, you're going. <clears throat> and they're fighting it a little bit. But it's a losing battle with their stubbornness. It's a twig. This is judgment. Okay. Um, it's a card of communication. It is. I mean, I, not communicating with you is causing them a burden. It's driving them crazy. They have both decided and are undecided. They are manifesting without realizing it. They are afraid you might throw it back in their face because it's been a while, but it's too strong. It's not just going to go away. This Ten of Wands tells me they've got to do something. They've got to do something or it's just they can't go the whole life without not knowing. It's one of those situations. It's that powerful. All right, so let's grab the Lightseer deck. Throw some cards over the top. <coughs> <coughs> oh, my goodness. I had some kind of weird candy. My wife says, here, try this. It's some kind of, she never tells me what, it, what, what flavor it is. She just says, try this. And I've been married long enough to know that I have to try it. And just like I have to smell it, God forbid we walk by something at the mall and there's a, a goddamn hand sanitizer or something. She'll put it on make me smell her hand every goddamn time. Mm. I don't know what it is with you ladies and making us men smell things. I don't want to smell it. I don't. Don't care what the hand sanitizer smells like. Anyway, she gave me this candy. It's weird. It burns. I don't know what the hell it is. I don't know what flavor that is. Fire? I don't know. Uh, it's weird. Anyway, let's shuffle the deck here. Let's see what actions this, going, this person's going to take. Because I'm pulling an energy update for you. Probably tomorrow or the next day. I want to know. What, what actions is this person going to take? I need a lead in to that. And right now, all I've got is this stubborn person who's being all chicken shit and sitting in, sitting in the thorns. Like the all signs reading today. Sitting in the thorns. They're just, it's just jitters. It's just whatever. I mean, they love you. Love. And they're feeling it. 
What action is this person going to take toward cancer? Let's get serious. If, no, if for no other reason than I need to focus on something other than the wretched burning taste in my mouth. <clears throat> Here, try this. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus Christ. Well, my party girl. Page of Wands. That's, that's communication. Uh, it's someone who, uh, it's just someone who goes for it. In this deck, it's very similar to the Fool. It's very similar to the Fool. This is interesting. This is beautiful. This is going to be a three card pull. You're going to love this. Just let me pull the cards and the tower. So I got Center, Queen of Cups, the most love somebody can feel for anybody. It's the same Queen of Cups that the universe is shoving down their throat, putting you in their face all day long, 100% trying to reboot this son of a bitch because there's some kind of destiny at play here. There's too much karma. There's a lot of past life karma. Too much karma equals this shit's got to happen. This got, the energy has to go somewhere. Otherwise, otherwise it's dissipated and wasted and it's, de, it's just going to come back like Chernobyl. On, and, it's, and somebody's just going to be sad when they're 70 or 80 that they didn't do anything. Anyway, big love. Person loves you. They're gonna, they want to communicate. They want to reach out. Page of Wands. The next card read here. After the Page of Wands is the Tower. And again, it's, it's, a, it's a statement saying that they just can't take it anymore. That's the message. The universe is shoving it down their throat. The reason the Queen of Cups came here is because the universe is shoving it down their throat so much. Shoving you in their face so much. Their intuition is screaming, reach out, reach out, reach out. They're like, I don't know, I don't know. They're just going to snap. This is like the fool in this deck, this page of wands. Look at this girl. She's like, she is a fool. Look at that girl. Just gonna go for it. Male or female, it's just chuck the chuck the damn wand and go for it. It's causing your person to live in part in a tower. Your person is really a I don't wanna say I don't like using the word obsessed because people take it the wrong way. They are, though. They're obsessed. You're in their thoughts continually 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 and it's just going to get to a point where they can't take it anymore and it's going to cause crossing the queen of cups the world a new cycle to begin oh my god it, it it's some powerful shit this is a very powerful connection it is an extremely powerful connection it's got to happen at some point you know nobody is going to like forget this in 20 years 20 years could go by and it's still going to be lingering. Oh, should I have reached out? I mean, I've never seen, and I said this to somebody before who was also an energy reader that wrote in to me, and uh, they, uh, they agreed, uh, and, and it really is true. I've seen, the, usually with a connection, like a soulmate connection, the universe, it doesn't need the two 3D parties to come together. The connection lives separately in the 5D. It's its own thing. The, the two 5D versions of you are married and having fun already, having, you know, sitting on a, just picture them sitting on a bench looking out over a pristine lake, right? That's the two 5D, that's the connection. You two in the 3D here, you've got this one person who's both decided and not decided to come in, and you've got you in pain who was rejected waiting for this person to come in, okay? The universe doesn't care whether you come together normally. It tries once or twice in most soulmate connections, and if it fails, it fails, and you never hear from the person, you never see the person, you just think whatever, whatever happened to that person the rest of your life. But not here. For some reason, and it, it's coming up in the readings, it's why this connection cycle is so important, and it's about 60% of the reason why I'm here on YouTube, why I started Steve's Love Tarot, is this soulmate connection in part. The universe seems hell-bent on bringing these parties together. There's some important reason for it. I do not know why. Um, I have speculation because the collective has become very out of balance. More, more ego than soul. And I think the universe is trying to balance it out by teaching some people what love is. And that's part of what is inside ingrained in this connection. Is it teaches people what love is. All of the soulmate connections. Not, not just yours. The whole soulmate cycle. The soulmate cycle. The current soulmate cycle as a whole right now. Any sign, any angle around it. 
Um, that's the best I can figure, but that's just a guess. But either way, uh, the comment I made and that the person agreed with was, I, I have never seen, I've been reading energy since I was four years old, 41 years now. I've never seen the universe try so hard to bring two people together than this current soulmate cycle, in particular, the Cancer Leo axis. It seems to be extremely important to the universe. And I see reading after reading of the universe forcing reboots, judgment cards, death cards, wheel of fortune cards, world cards, big cards that come up every time. And you may think, well, what's the big deal about that? You know, what's the, and, and on several readers, all, all readers are kind of getting the same sort of thing. You may think, well, what's the big deal about that? The big deal is for any card to come up in any given position at any given time in a tarot reading, it can be anywhere from one in 370,000 all the way up to one in a million, depending on how many positions are in the card pole that you use as a multiplier. So it's a big deal. Go ahead and get yourself a scratcher ticket and see how many times you win 500 bucks. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it's a really big deal or a thousand bucks, I think, are the odds on that. But anyway, it's, it's pretty spectacular. I, I personally, being someone who can feel the energy and feel the connections, I've never seen the universe try so hard. So what I'm trying to tell you with your person is they're under a great deal of strain. I've got Ten of Wands for not communicating with you. Ten of Wands and the Tower. It's a great deal of strain for this person not to reach out to you. The universe is very disappointed. In them when the, and when the universe is disappointed in someone, it makes them pay for it. Their world becomes a tower. And your person is living in a tower. Things are falling apart. Jobs are getting lost. Raises aren't getting got. I mean, there's all sorts of things. I mean, a list, a thousand items long could be happening to your person. But all of it is related to a tower of some kind. So, anyway, there you go. That's that. That's your cure for cancer. I will pull an energy update for you either tomorrow or the next day. And we'll see what's going on. Uh, the, this connection changes almost on an hourly basis, at the very least on a daily basis. It is amazing, the changes in this connection. But these Cure for Cancers help me pinpoint things. Now that I know for sure that it's your person's stubbornness that's jamming this thing up, uh, I think we're going to have some very interesting energy updates from here on. And I might be able to give you some tips to work around it, get them to snap out of this shit. There you go. Anyway... I hope this reading was helpful to you. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're following the Cure for Cancer readings, I appreciate that. But, hey, they are what they are. So, wow. Forcing them. Just shoving it right down their throat. I tell you. Eat that goose. Go on now. <laughs> All right. Good luck, you guys.